Hi, this is Gary with Mac Most Now. On today's episode, I want to talk about the lost art of tap stops. So, tap stops are when you're typing in a word processor, you hit the tab key and it jumps to a certain position. So, for instance, uh, let's do this and I'll hit the tab key there and that. And you can see that this lines up right here with about the half inch mark. Um, I can do one and tab and then two and you can see that the second word there because there's a tab will line up perfectly there. I can actually go into uh, view and show invisibles and you can see the tab there as a little arrow. In addition I can select all and then I can add tabs here by clicking in the ruler in pages and I can set where it is. Instead of using the default half an inch I can actually set one to say uh, at uh, two and a half inches right there on the page. And then I can add another line and you can see it lines up perfectly here. Um, so you can line up items using tap stops. Now it basically works the same in almost any word processor. In Microsoft Word, in uh, TextEdit even, uh, you can use tap stops for this. Now the art that comes from this is using tap stops to create forms. So say you want to do something like this and this drives me crazy. People do something like uh, name. Let's do a first name uh, and you do a colon and then people will do these uh, you know, shift and the underscore and a bunch of underscores there and then a bunch of extra spaces and I still have the show invisible zone so you can see all the spaces and things and then they do last name like this and uh, then they try to do more and things just don't never line up, right? So you can do uh, street address and mm, how do you get it to be perfectly there at the end? That's a little bit off. I'm going to do a bunch of spaces and kind of try to put it right under last name. Um, uh, like city, you know, and it just it turns into a mess and especially when you try to adjust something there um, and trying to get things lined up perfectly. It doesn't quite do it. Uh, you hide invisibles here. It's uh, kind of hard to see but the uh, you can see that there's no way for me to get the end of that line lined up perfectly here uh, because I'm just adding these underscore characters. Let me show you the right way to do a form like this. So let's look at the right way to do this. Uh, let's start say with first name in a form. Now I've got the colon there and I want to create a space between the colon and the beginning of the first blank space. I'm going to do a tab, tab stop there and then I'm going to set it here so it will be at a certain point, let's say at the two and a half inch mark. And I'm going to do another tab and this is where the blank line is going to be. And I'm going to set this to go for an inch and a half right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the inspector. I'm going to go to the text inspector uh, and tabs. I'm going to select that tab and set a leader. And I can set it, it's just off the screen there, to an underline. You can do dashes and dots. And you can see it's going to fill in in, a, in kind of a leader um, some blank. Uh, under, they're underscore characters but they're not underscore characters. It's just a line underneath. Now I'm going to do yet another tab and I'm going to line this up perfectly at four and a half and I'm going to do last name. Then I'm going to do tab again and I'm going to kind of set this up to start here. Do another tab and I'm going to set that to go all the way to the end and then for this tab here, six and a half inches, I'm going to set that also to be a leader. And then you can see here that I've created this blank space. Let me go and remove the invisibles there and you can see that. Now I can adjust these tabs. Go make sure I have everything selected. I can adjust these tabs and look how the blank space will move with everything. So that makes a little more sense there. I've got this little thing going where I've got about an inch of space for the label there and then I have the blank space. And now the cool thing is if I would just go to another line and type street, tab, tab, and again it all lines up and these lines are perfectly set for underneath uh, where the previous tab stops are. So everything lines up really nice and neatly. Now I can just select this area and say well I want in this line the lines to start a little sooner like that and just have the end spaces lined up. And you can do all sorts of things like for instance here I can have it actually end uh, a little sooner. Uh, get it right up to here. Let's set that tab stop uh, to also have the underscore leader there. And then I can do another tab um, and say set zip. 
and then create another tab here that will then you see I've lined the end up there but I've created all these other little tab stops here that I can now adjust for where the end of this line is, the beginning of the line is to get the form made up perfectly. So this really is kind of an art. You kind of get used to playing with these different tab stops, adding these underscore leaders to it, and then creating forms that then have everything just lining up exactly right and looking like a very professional form rather than one of those ones that obviously somebody did by hitting a bunch of underscore characters a whole bunch of times. So I hope you found this useful and I hope you use it the next time you need to create a form in any word processing program. Until next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.